We are with Representative Sharon Wiley from the 49th District, America's Vancouver. How are you doing? Pretty good. This is an important week because what's happening this Friday? We're heading into our first policy committee cutoff, and then a little bit after that is the fiscal committee cutoff. So bills that go through the policy committees have to be out or they die, and the fiscal committees have a little bit longer to work on them, and a lot of those policy bills end up going to a fiscal committee. I'm on two fiscal committees, so my hours are going to be real long next week after the first cutoff, and we'll be looking at all the money connected with a lot of those good policies that people hope to pass. You have a bill right now in the Rules Committee. First, remind me what Rules does. When a bill comes out of the Policy Committee and or the Fiscal Committee, some go to both, some only go to one, it goes to Rules, and there is a Rules Committee, which I sit on, we get a certain number of pulls, and they don't go to the floor for a vote unless they're pulled by somebody on the Rules Committee. That's one big hurdle. Then they get pulled to the floor, and in their time, they get voted on, and then they go to the Senate, and the same process starts with the committee assignments, and they have a Rules Committee as well, and then it goes to the Senate floor. If it gets through both in the same form, it goes to the governor for signature. If they come out different, then there's a conference committee and an agreement, and then both the House and the Senate have to vote on it once again. One of the things people out there may not realize is how long things take to pass. Some of these bills take years. Lawmakers introducing them year after year until finally they pass and they become law. You've been working on an issue for a few years now, Port District campaign contributions. This right. year's bill is 1375, but this is not new. Tell us again, what does this do? Well, several years ago, it was realized that port districts didn't have any laws that required them to follow the same campaign finance limits that all the other races and all the other elections have. So there was unlimited amount of money could be spent. And so there was a law passed that exempted all the little ports but applied only to the port of Seattle and the port of Tacoma. In our district, we had over half a million dollars spent on a recent port race, and so that was a real wake-up call for me, that that was a real oversight, because in ports, you have agencies that are, have elected officials that don't have a lot of oversight. People don't pay attention unless something's really important, and you have a situation where there was unlimited campaign finance capability for corporations that were going to have their contract with the port that they helped elect. And most of the time, that's not a problem, frankly. In our district, it was a problem over the oil terminal, and the amount of money spent in that race was just unseemly. And so last year, in the short session, I introduced a bill to require port districts to follow the same rules that everybody else follows. And we had a short session, we had a lot of bills, so it didn't get through. This year, it's looking very good. All of the ports are in favor of this. It was embarrassing to a lot of people that there was this oversight. It just was unseemly to have that much money spent on a little race, especially when there was going to be that relationship contractually between the port commissioner and the businesses that do business with them. Mm -hmm.